Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. Uh, in today's video, I'm focusing on angle relationships involving parallel lines. Uh, now, I've already done uh, the part one video, but if you haven't seen it, I recommend going and, and watching it. Uh, and you can go either to uh, YouTube and type in uh, what I have here in, in black, and you can find it. Or you can go to my website, dowshouse.com, and look under the first six weeks worth of lessons. Uh, and just look up the angle relationships with parallel lines, and you can, you can see part one. Um, my video today is focusing on part two, uh, but I also have part three, which is going to go over additional examples, which are going to be the more challenging kind of problems you'll come across here. Um, but these are all talking about angle relationships uh, involving parallel lines. Uh, now remember, if these uh, lines aren't parallel, then these angle relationships don't exist. And so today we're talking about parallel lines and the angle relationships that they have. But my video today is focusing just on these two angle relationships, uh, which is the consecutive interior angles and the consecutive exterior angles. These angle relationships are both examples of supplementary angle relationships. Supplementary means two angles uh, that add up to 180 degrees. And so uh, these uh, angle relationships are talking about two angles that equal 180 degrees versus my first video that I have are talking about congruent angle relationships, meaning that these angle relationships are examples of relationships between angles that are congruent to each other. Um, but back down here, consecutive interior angles uh, have another name. They can also be called same side interior angles. Uh, so you need to know that same side interior angles is the same thing as consecutive interior angles. Uh, your teacher might talk about same side interior angles, but you might have a test question that talks about consecutive interior angles. They're the same thing, so don't get too confused here. Likewise, consecutive exterior angles uh, has another name, same side exterior angles. Uh, so make sure that you're, you know that those, those mean the same thing. Uh, jumping on here, though, we're going to do the consecutive interior angles. Again, otherwise known as same side interior angles. Uh, the definition I have my students write down are supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal and inside the parallel lines. Now I underline key phrases here because if you look at just the, the, the words here in the, the name uh, consecutive interior angles or same side interior angles, they, they give you clues on what you're looking for. Uh, when I talk about uh, same side, I'm talking about the same side of the transversal. If I'm talking about interior angles, I'm talking about the inside of the parallel lines. Interior of my house is the same thing as the inside of my house. So if I look at just the inside of the parallel lines, if I focus just on the inside of the parallel lines, I can ignore all these angles that are on the outside. So when I'm looking for an example of a consecutive interior angle or a same side interior angle, I'm only looking for angles on the inside of the parallel lines. Now let's focus on angle three here. We have same side interior angles, same side of the transversal. What is another angle on the same side of the transversal as angle three? Well, we've already crossed out the remaining ones, so the only one I have left over is this angle five. Angle three and angle five are an example of consecutive interior angles. Now remember, supplementary angles are angles that equal 180 degrees, so these guys actually would combine and equal 180 degrees. And I have that written down here. Angle 3 plus angle 5 equals 180 degrees. Uh, another example we have here, uh, we have another example of um, consecutive interior angles or same side interior angles. Uh, that would be angle 4. Angle 4 and angle 6 are another example of consecutive interior angles. They're both on the inside of the parallel lines and on the same side of the transver uh, transversal here. And so these two angles would combine and equal 180 degrees, which is what I have down here. Now let's say we knew what angle 3 was. Let's say we knew angle 3 was 70 degrees. So if angle 3 was 70 degrees, I can use uh, this relationship here to figure out what angle 5 is. So angle 5 would be equal to 180 minus 70 degrees, and so angle 5 is 110 degrees. 110 degrees. Now, using those angle relationships, which I learned in the first video, uh, we have angle 5 and angle 4 are alternate interior angles. So angle 4 would also be 110 degrees. And since these two angles are uh, same side interior angles or consecutive interior angles, I know that they also need to equal 180 degrees. So if I know angle, we have angle 4 here is 110 degrees, I could subtract 110 from 180, and I'd get 70 degrees for angle 6. And so knowing these angle relationships helps you figure out more information about these parallel lines uh, and these angle measures. Uh, the next one we have, or in the, in the last uh, 
example we have here, or angle relationship, we have is consecutive exterior angle, otherwise known as same side exterior angle. Very similar uh, to the last example, except for this is now exterior. Uh, and so if we look here at the definition, supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal and outside the parallel lines. So same side of the transversal, exterior of my house is the outside of my house, so and the outside of the parallel lines. And so if I look just at the outside of the parallel lines here, I'm ignoring all these angles on the inside of the parallel lines. And then it says, uh, so if we look at angle one here, supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal and outside the parallel lines, same side of the transversal, what's another angle on the same side of this as the transversal as angle one that I haven't crossed out? Well, that's gonna be angle seven. So angle one and angle seven are an example of consecutive exterior angles. Remember, they equal 180 degrees because that's what supplementary angles add up to. Uh, likewise, if we look over uh, on the other side of the transversal here, uh, we've got angle two, uh, let's go to the same color here, angle two and angle seven are another example of consecutive or same side exterior angles uh, because they're both outside the parallels, parallel lines, and on the same side of the transversal here, and so they equal 180 degrees as well. Uh, and so, just like on the uh, consecutive interior angles, if I go back here, we had two pairs of uh, consecutive interior angles uh, whenever we have parallel lines in a transversal. Same thing happens on consecutive exterior angles. We're gonna have two different pairs of these examples, or, or two different uh, examples of the consecutive exterior angle. Sorry, I, I muddled my words there. Um, but just like what we did on the previous one, uh, let us say, hmm, let's go with angle two and let's say this guy is, is 60 degrees. If I know angle two is 60 degrees and I know angle eight and angle two are uh, consecutive exterior angles, meaning that they equal 180 degrees, I can take 180 degrees, subtract that 60 degrees, and I can figure out what this angle eight was. It's 120 degrees. And if we go back to the alternate exterior angles, angle eight and angle one are alternate exterior angles, meaning that they're congruent to each other. And so 120 here, 120 here. And then if I look at angle two and seven, these are uh, examples of angles that are uh, alternate exterior angles as well. So two and seven are also gonna be congruent. And therefore I know that angle seven is gonna be uh, 60 degrees as well. Um, so anyways, uh, jumping ahead, I'm gonna go uh, do a, a little review over all of these. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the left side here. These are the congruent angle relationships, meaning that these uh, angles I'm talking about are gonna be equal to each other. Uh, the alternate interior angles are inside the parallel lines, but on opposite sides of the transversal. And so they're congruent. So this angle and this angle would be an example of alternate interior angles. Um, I can also say this is another alternate interior angle. Uh, pair relationship. So inside the parallel lines, opposite sides of the transversal. Uh, but let's move down here. There are um, alternate exterior angles, are angles that are outside the parallel lines, but opposite sides of the transversal. So this angle relationship and this angle relationship is an example of alternate exterior angles. Uh, we also have another one here. Uh, we have uh, this angle relationship and this angle or these two angles have uh, another uh, example of alternate exterior angles. Uh, now remember that these angles are congruent to each other because uh, they're equal. Uh, next one is corresponding angles. This is uh, the only one of the angle relationships here which has more than two pairs of, of uh, examples, like alternate interior angles. When I have two parallel lines in a transversal, I had two examples. Uh, right here, two parallel lines in a transversal, I had two examples of the alternate exterior angles. This one, we're gonna have four different kinds of corresponding angles whenever we have two parallel lines and a transversal. And, and the first one is this angle right here would match up with this angle right here. If I look at this entire intersection and this entire intersection, corresponding angles are in the same location on the intersection. These are both in the top left corner, so these are examples of corresponding angles. Uh, if I look at this angle here and this angle here, these are also corresponding angles uh, because they are both on the top right corner of these intersections. Uh, we also have uh, this angle right here and this angle right here are also corresponding angles. They're both in the bottom left corner of this intersection. And then the final one we have here, uh, this angle relationship 
these two angles are both corresponding because uh, they're both in the bottom right corner of that intersection. Uh, back over to what we learned on this video. Uh, we have um, consecutive interior angles or same side interior angles. They're inside the parallel lines, but they are on the same side of the transversal. And remember that they equal 180 degrees. Uh, likewise, we have a just like we had two examples here, we're going to have two examples on this guy as well. And so this angle relationship between this angle and this angle is also a consecutive interior angle or same side interior angle, and they're going to equal 180 degrees as well. And then down here, we're going to have two more examples, uh, but we're jumping uh, to the next one, which is consecutive exterior angles that are outside the parallel lines. So this angle and this angle here um, are going to be uh, consecutive exterior angles and equal 180 degrees. And then on the opposite side of the transversal, we're also going to have this angle relationship and this one. These two angles, their angle relationship is also consecutive exterior angles, and they're also going to equal 180 degrees. You might want to pause the video and study this and, and take your time on this. There are subtle differences, but again, if you look at the names, they give you hints on what's happening in the angle relationships. Uh, but I've got six examples here. Uh, I'm going to do um, one example of each of these angle relationships from uh, part one and part two video. Uh, and now, but I have six examples. So I'm actually going to have one answer choice, which is none, uh, because there's going to be no angle relationship. And I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Uh, but let's look at the first example problem. If I look here, uh, identify the angle relationships between angles X and Y. Uh, and so if I look on this first example, these are both inside the parallel lines. So I should have the word interior in uh, the word, uh, and so or, or the phrase here. And so if I look, these are both inside the parallel lines, but this is these are both on the same side of the transversal. So this guy is going to be a consecutive interior angle relationship. And so let's find the other one that has um, both of the angles are inside the parallels. Uh, these are both inside. That looks like we could look at this one. Is there another one that has both of them inside? Both of them inside? Nope. And so if we look here, I'm looking for alternate interior angles. They're both inside the parallel lines, but on alternate sides of the transversal. So this is going to be alternate interior angles. So if we look at just the phrases here, they give you clues and hints on what's going to go where. Uh, let's look at alternate exterior angles. We're looking for angles that are outside the parallel lines. Uh, so angles outside, these are both outside the parallel lines, so that might be it. Uh, those are one inside, one outside. Uh, these are both outside the parallel lines. This is inside and out, or outside and inside. So one of these is going to be the alternate exterior angle. Um, this guy here uh, has it on the same side of the transversal. This one has these angles on the alternate sides of the transversal. So this is my alternate exterior angle. Uh, relationship here. So we've taken care of this one and this one. We've taken care of this guy right here. Uh, so right here, if I look, we have consecutive or same side exterior angles. These angles are both outside the parallel lines, but they're on the same side of the transversal. So this is actually the consecutive exterior angles. Now again, I could also have called this same side exterior angle if I wanted to. Uh, so we're down to the corresponding angle here. So we've, this is the only one we have not finished yet. Let me change the color here. Let's go to blue. One of these is a corresponding angle relationship, and one of these is going to be none. Corresponding angles, uh, they're in the same spot of the intersection. So let's look at the intersection here. This Y is on the top right corner. Uh, this X is on the bottom left corner. This is not a corresponding angle. Versus if I look over here at these intersections, X is on the top of the intersection, Y is on the top of the intersection. This has to be a corresponding angle relationship. This one is not both inside or both outside, so they're not interior or exterior. Uh, they're not in the same spot. This is on the top, this is on the bottom right, so this is actually going to be the none. So hopefully um, this video helps you understand uh, the differences between all these angle relationships, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.